Hey, it's Kim. Welcome to today's video where we're going to be doing my July currently inked. So summer vacation is in full effect. Um, the kids are out of school. You may or may not hear a bunch of stuff happening <laughs> in the background. Um, the windows are wide open. You also may hear some outside noise. So, you know, just consider it like ambient white noise, ASMR, something enjoyable or whatever. But anyway, let's get right into it. So I haven't filmed one of these videos, I think in like two months. Uh, I don't really remember. I know I didn't do one for June. Um, and as you can see, the June currently ink spread is looking a bit um, bare <laughs> as compared to previous months where normally I would use about five different pens and ink combinations for my five main planners and journals. So I didn't do that in June and really I don't know why but these are the two that I mainly use for the entire month. The first one I use for my daily planner every single day. I also use it for my five year journal. My personal journal, I just kind of rotated between other fountain pens that I had in my collection, whatever was inked up, whatever inks coordinated nicely with the spreads that I had decorated already in my journal. So that was my approach for the entire month of June and it worked out extremely well. So now we're back with July and I do want to go back to my format of having five pens inked for the month for my specific planners. So those five are my daily planner and then I also like to have kind of like a contrasting color or something I can use to highlight on my daily planner maybe on the calendar or um, in the margins of the daily pages. I've shown that a few times in some of my previous videos if you like to see kind of how I put these pens to use and I'll attempt to link some as well up in the cards for you to check out and then I have the third one which is for my daily journal and like I said even though I do pick a pen and ink combo for my journal I will sometimes switch it up when the mood strikes and that's okay I'm okay with that and then the fourth one is for my five-year journal so yeah that's pretty self-explanatory I have a five-year journal Hobonichi one that I use for family and we document special things that happen we document boring things that happen but that contains pictures and little blurbs for each day and that's an A6 size so it's not too big so that's the fourth pen and then the fifth pen is for my business planner which the ink I've been using or so far this year I've been using only blue inks so that is not going to change this month at all we're still going to be sticking to only blue inks okay so let's get into it the five pens that I picked for this month I have them right here and this pen case is by Galen Leather and I have these five pens that I picked out for the month, everything is already inked up and ready to go. So imagine that I'm actually pretty much uh, organized <laughs> and prepared for today's video, which is sometimes, um, well, it's actually very rare, at least lately. So the first pen is my Twisby Diamond 580, and this one is in the rose gold and smoke combination. And this is an EF nib. So this is the one I'll be using for my daily planner. And I mentioned in a previous video that there are, oh, my fountain pen collection video, which posted not too long ago, an updated collection video. So make sure you check that out if you want to see all of the pens that are in my collection. But there are some pens that I have always inked since I've had them in the same colors. Not specifically the same ink, but definitely the same color family. And this is one of those. I've always had this inked with brown ink always and forever and actually the ink that I'm using for today um, or for this month is probably the one that's been in this pen the most um, so we'll start with the little swatches and I feel like I'm a bit rusty in terms of the format that I've set up for how I'm documenting the inks 
but it'll work out just fine. So this ink is Diamine uh, Chocolate Brown. So this one I would classify as a color. I know I've said previously, like I prefer to have inks that look mostly black for my daily planner, but this one I feel looks very brown. <laughs> like there's no confusing it. It's definitely, definitely brown, not close to black, um, but I do like it. Diamond 580. 80 and this is the RG2 I think or something like that it says and I will note yeah RG2 I will note that this one is a pen that you cannot post meaning I can't put the cap on the end which I don't usually like for a daily pen or a daily user like I have to you know figure out some place to put the cap to make sure I don't lose it um, but considering I leave my pens at home, that actually doesn't seem to be a problem. I leave my pens and my planner at home for the most part. So that has not been a deterrent for me. I thought it might have been, but it's not. So that is the Diamine in Chocolate Brown and the Twisby Diamond 580 with an EF nib. And that's the one I'll be using for my daily planner. And then the next one is a newer addition to my collection. This is an Esterbrook Esty, and this is the one that's the Cola edition. It's like a special edition. It's really pretty. Another one that you can't really post. Yeah, it has sort of like a spring inside of the cap. I guess you could if you pushed it on there, but it just doesn't feel like it's supposed to, so I won't post it. So this one is inked with diamine, I'm sure. I actually do have it all listed in my ink journal or tabbed out at least. So yes, it's right here. So this one is diamine three kings. And when I got this pen back in, I think it was March, that is the ink that I first put into it <laughs> and it's still here and it's cool. Um, I actually have been journaling with it here or there, so I do like the color and I thought it would go extremely well with the Sterling Ink subscription kit that I have um, for July, the one that I'll be using in my daily planner. So if I needed to use this to, like I said, make a few notes that I want to stand out on my dailies or in my monthly, this one works great for that purpose. And I will say that I actually picked a different color for this um, ink purpose, but I'll get to that in a minute. I'll explain a little further. So this one is an EF nib. Oh no, wait, is it an F nib? Oh yeah. This is what my fountain pen notebook is for. So, Esterbrook SD. I think it's an EF nib. What does it say? I'm pretty sure it's an EF nib. <laughs> it's an EF nib. I'm pretty sure. So, that's that one. And the next one is also going to be an Esterbrook Esty. So I'm adding this one to the rotation for the month of July. And this is the one that I'll be using for my journal. And the ink in here is one of my favorites. And this one is, let me see. I feel like I've shown this ink before. I've used it sometime before in the past few months. Um, so clearly it is a favorite of mine. And this one is Diamine Pick Me Up. 
and this just like three kings is from the 2022 advent calendar that diamond came out with and again like i said this is an astrobook asti as well but the nib on this one is different so this nib is the journaler's nib which is one of the custom ones you can get from um astrobook and i absolutely love it it's very smooth jbg it's very smooth um it is said to be most similar to a medium nib ground down to italic is it i can't remember if i remember i'll try to put it on the screen but it's a it writes so smooth it's beautiful <laughs> it's absolute perfection so that's the one i'll be using for my journaling and i'll give you a close-up of those two inks and those two pens all right and the next one is another of my favorite pens and i realized i actually haven't used this one for a little while which i'm surprised by i had it in my january currently inked and i've picked it up here and there since then but i hadn't re-inked it with anything new since then i cleaned it out and it had been sitting for like two months which is not like me at all especially for pens that i love and pens that um yeah i love <laughs> so the fourth pen or the fourth pen and ink combo that i'm choosing for my july currently inked the ink is diamond olive swirl also from the 2022 advent calendar so i will say that this is the one that immediately after seeing the sterling ink subscription kit for the month which i might as well i'll just give you a peek at it here but i saw all the colors in it and especially like this pear kind of green i immediately knew that i wanted to use this ink along with a brown ink so i thought that i would use this as the one to highlight in places like on the calendar or on the dailies and i'm still actually on the fence between uh which one i'll use if i'll use the three kings or the olive swirl i think i have to see them together and actually looking at them on this page i feel like the three kings is too close to brown to the chocolate brown so maybe it won't stand out enough whereas the olive swirl definitely stands out so this one might move up to this spot and be used as the one that i'll highlight and make notes with and then i may use the three kings in the esterbrook sd cola to use for my five-year journal for the month of july we will see but this pen which i have not even mentioned is a pilot decimo in the water race color and this is a fine nib again it's one of my favorites i think just about every pilot pen that i have is a favorite of mine and with this close-up you can see that the olive swirl does stand out next to the chocolate brown ink color a little bit more i think than the three kings does next to the chocolate brown so maybe the olive swirl will be my highlight color for the month so that's the fourth pen and then the fifth pen is also a pilot pen this is one that i have not added to the rotation for like a monthly currently inked yet since i received it in april i have used it a bit used it here and there and this was the first ink that i put into it and i mentioned in that video that i did um with my fountain pen collection that i get a lot of nib creep on this and i'm guessing it's the ink i'm not entirely sure it doesn't bother me it doesn't affect you know the functioning of the pen it just doesn't always look the prettiest when you open or uncap it and then you've got a bunch of ink sitting on the nib but it's cool 
So this ink we have seen before. This one is Pilot Oroshizuku. Oroshizuku. And I may have spelled that wrong. And this is in the color Kompaki. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite ink colors. And I don't typically like blues, but this one just speaks to me. And the pen is a Pilot Custom mm, 823. And this is in the Demonstrator, which is a Japanese exclusive. And the nib on this one is a Falcon nib. So it has a little bit of bend to it, a little bit of bounce and spring when writing. And it writes so smooth and so beautifully. Definitely, obviously, one of my favorites because I said I think all of my pilot pens are pretty much in my favorite category. All the way down to the lesser expensive Kakunos. They're all favorites of mine. So that's the one that will be my blue ink for my business journal or my business planner for the month of July. So giving you a close up of all of the inks that I'll be using for the month. I feel like that's a pretty good mix and I feel like that's a good blend of colors. I mean with the exception of the blue <laughs> that stands out quite a lot. All of these colors together almost give me fall vibes but that's okay. It's a nice break from any of the other brighter colors that I've been using for the previous couple of months. So there you have it. Those are my five currently inked pens. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my five currently inked pens and ink selections for the month of July. So now I'm definitely very excited to get the month started, even though I'm not rushing it. I'm not trying to rush, you know, July to get here. I don't want to rush June to be over. But now I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my July, my planner for July. So that's what I typically do after I choose all of my inks. I'll just, I'll set up my planner for the following month. And that's what I'm going to do right now. That video will actually post before this one though. So if you are interested in seeing how I'm using the daily pen and I might pull out <laughs> the one that I intend to use as a highlight color. I think I'm going with Olive Swirl. But who knows, I could change my mind. But um, you should be able to see how I'm using that a little bit in that video. Thank you so much for following along on today's video and I'll see you in the next one.